Hello and welcome, this is Starry here and today I'll be doing my first movie review on the channel. I'm quite excited to release this and as you can tell by the title, this movie review will be on a 2013 film called Gravity. This movie is directed by Alfonso Cuaron, I'm sorry if I mispronounced his name, but he's the director at Roma, so he's quite um, a known direct, a foreign director as well. Um, this film also stars Sandra Bullock and George Clooney. Not really anybody else were uh, notable because this movie only really focuses on these two characters. So um, yeah, since this is my first movie review and I'm not really a professional critic, um, don't take my words um, too harshly. I'm still learning this whole reviewing thing and I'm still um, learning how to properly review things so um, cut me some slack there will you. Anyways, um, before we get straight into this, I want to just say, if you're enjoying the content so far and you want to see more anime, manga related content, as well as more movie reviews, then consider subscribing, it's a click away, and that way you get to stay updated on my, on my different uploads and when I uh, review something new. So with that out of the way, let's get straight into the review, starting with a recap. This story follows a scientist named Dr. Stone. Nope, not the anime Dr. Stone. Her last name is Stone. So, and she's um, and we see she's working on some like um, hardware upgrades on her space shuttle Explorer along with uh, uh, the rest of her crew. And then suddenly they get a warning for a bunch of space debris heading their way. But before they could pack up, it was already too late, and the space debris the space debris completely um, obliterates their uh, shuttle and sends it to pieces, scattering all members um, across like the void of this of space, as uh, they're directly like right um, next to the Earth. After they've all separated, they all have to regroup with um, Dr. Stone eventually meeting up with Kowalski, her like mission, uh, her captain. Uh, I don't know what the correct term is for astronauts, but I'll just refer to him as captain. And they uh, regroup with their third member, Dasari, but they realize that Dasari is dead. Like, uh, the debris hit him and went straight through his head. So, yeah, um, rip this dude. So with only Kowalski and Dr. Stone left, they have they decide to make their way back to the destroyed shuttle to hopefully use some one of their escape pods to get back to Earth. Um, and along their journey there, they um, we learn a little bit about Dr. Stone's past, about how she once had a daughter who um, had a tragic accident and she died, and how now Dr. Stone has kind of become distant and she um, doesn't really enjoy life as much anymore. Eventually, they uh, do reach the shuttle, and here we um, they they kind of fail to grab the things because they're moving at such high speeds, and of course it's hard to grab something when you're moving without any sense of direction, and this kind of um, causes Kowalski to die here after he has to sacrifice himself in order not to um, drag Doctor Stone into the void, uh, void with him, and so that's what he does, and so Doctor Stone makes it inside of the shuttle and just in time as her air runs out. Um, kind of reflecting on the moment how, how her captain just died in front of her eyes to save her. Now she's inside her shuttle but she doesn't last for long con considering there's a fire now that started and she, so she must enter the Soyuz capsule and eject immediately. She ejects but um, there's a bit of an entanglement with her um, with the shuttle and some more space debris is headed there so she has to so she has to detach the um, um, the, the launch chute that um, was launched by accident and she has she eventually frees herself and escapes the danger but here she finds out that the Soyuz capsule is actually out of fuel so essentially she's stranded this time with nothing else to do and she has this bit of a rage moment where she uh, she finally like kind of lets it all out um, all of her frustration and here she gets a message from the Chinese shuttle that w was near her but um, she couldn't really decipher it so she eventually decides um, this is the way she's going to die and she starts letting go of her oxygen to the, like um, um, go out without much pain I guess um, here she sees a actual the uh, hallucination of Kowalski who um, kind of um, was there to kind of motivate her to keep on moving forward and because that's really who his character was to her so that's why when she envisioned him she envisioned him just trying to order her hey don't give up now and that's what she does after even after she realizes it's a hallucination so she instead uses the um, soft landing um, engines a new way that still has fuel in them and launches her way to the Chinese shuttle and she and she makes it just enough 
to get out and use a fire extinguisher to um, propel herself um, for the remaining distance. And here she finds the second Soyuz capsule just as the tiny, just as the this shuttle that she's in is being um, bombarded with space debris. And using this, she uh, um, this dispatches her Soyuz, and like this, she enters the Earth's atmosphere in this amazing scene with um, some a really good OST and really good shots as she's entering the atmosphere and then finally crashes in, crashes into the ocean and escapes back into the um, uh, the wilderness of the Earth. So that's it with my recap, let's move on to the story. So for the story, I think the story had some pretty good pacing. I don't think there's any inconsistencies with the pacing. And the story was just paced um, um, correctly enough, at a, uh, not too fast, not too slow, that it really kept me engaged and didn't lose my focus. And it all definitely fits the tone of this um, sh movie. And I also think that um, there's a lot of intense scenes, and I really liked how almost every scene kept me at the edge of the seat. Like the scenes, like simple scenes, like where they're just um, moving and they have to grab onto something, that felt intense. Where the scenes where um, she has to f somehow find fuel, that felt intense. And the scene where she's entering the atmosphere, that was also, I think, my favorite scene because I love the music, I loved everything that, about that scene, probably. And I, it was just a really good climax to the movie. I also really like the theme of moving forward and not giving up and um, despite the hardships that you face in life because that's really what her character is about and I really like that they kept touching on it especially with Kowalski kind of being the embodiment of that and how this is kind of her story and how she realizes that how to keep moving forward and not give up um, so I liked how they um, incorporated that theme um, in terms of actual like Cons. I think first of all, I um, there was this one theme of isolation that I thought was going to be really um, prevalent in this um, movie. They mentioned it at the very beginning with that little title card that oh, in space there's no food, no like sound doesn't travel, everything. And I felt like they would have touched more on how the loneliness and how isolated you are in space, kind of how they did in The Martian. But I but the story didn't really do that, so I wish they could have touched on that theme a bit more. I also think that some of the scenes were a bit too long and overstayed their welcome, such as the beginning scene where they're all chatting and having some small talk. I just felt like that was a really much of a filler scene and could have been replaced with something more important. As well as that scene where she's like kind of um, crying in the capsule after giving up, I feel like she could have been shortened down a bit more. I also think that the emotional moments didn't really hit as much. There were definitely emotional moments. Um, moment and don't get me wrong I did feel some sadness in some scenes but I feel like they kind of overused it a bit like when you're supposed to use uh, like for example I'll call it catharsis because that's really what I think it is um, when um, our care when Dr. Stone experienced that catharsis it should be used sparingly you shouldn't have a catharsis after every intense scene otherwise it gets overused and I feel like that's what this um, movie is kind of doing I would have wished if she had stayed resilient throughout and then towards the end is when she finally breaks down that would have felt more impactful to me and more emotional otherwise um i guess that's all i really have for story um this review is short considering it's a movie not an anime or manga but um i hope you guys are still um listening anyways let's get on to characters So for characters, in this portion of the review, I'll be like talking about both, both characters, acting, dialogue, anything that's character related. So first of all, I'd just like to mention, this had, this movie had some really great acting from Sandra Bullock, because since she is there, it's only her for the majority of the movie, she has to really carry it with her emotions without any supporting characters, and I feel like she does that amazingly. I, de I never got tired of her character seeing just her on screen, and it ca always kept my interest, so some great acting acting especially in those scenes with crying and stuff and the anger you can really feel her emotion during those scenes um, um aside from that i think the, um her character is well done her acting is well done aside from that i'll say that kowalski was a little bit underdeveloped i wish we could have seen a bit a scene a bit more especially co considering this story only has two main characters in it or, or two characters like overall um i really wish that maybe we could have gotten a bit more with kowalski because they really had their room to expand on it but they just didn't do that and it would have felt more impactful in some of those scenes um especially the scene where she starts sees his hallucination and keeps moving forward i feel like kowalski should have definitely gotten a bit more development rather than just being the captain 
um, stereotype. I also have to mention this, but sometimes the character incompetence from Sandra Bullock really got on my nerves. She's supposed to be an astronaut who's trained for a lot of things, but um, a lot of the times it felt like she had no training at all. Like for example, that one scene where she starts using the fire hydrant, but it knocks her back into the wall and knocks her unconscious. I feel like she should have known that the fire hydrant would have um, given, like, propelled her back into the wall, but she kind of didn't. Um, to realize that so i feel like it could have been stress of course stress is always a factor in two character decisions but in this character um i feel like we could have done a lot more by seeing her actually be badass kind of like in the martian how um the main character you could see that he's definitely very um, self-reliant and independent um that's all i really have to say for characters then let's just move on to the next um section So for this section I will be talking about cinematography, usually I talk about animation or art but since this is the movie I'm just gonna um, talk about uh, this specifically. And I'll just get this out of the way, the cinematography in this movie was amazing. Emmanuel Lubezki, you're the cinematographer, amazing job, I gotta give you a hand. I really liked how they sh um, showed a sense of scale in this movie with the earth and how it just made our characters feel all the more small and insignificant to the events around them. I also think this movie was very beautiful, uh, beautifully looking uh, with all the colors especially when she entered the atmosphere I really loved all the like the color that uh, splashed out in your face and even not uh, even during other scenes with the, when they're mostly black um, the, she really stood out and I just really like the contrast between the dark and light colors I also think that this movie has a really great CGI some of the best I've seen for a 2013 movie it can definitely hold up to some of the movies going on right now and I also got to talk about the costumes um, whoever did the costume design um, did an amazing job with the astronaut costume and it just made the movie feel all the much more realistic like I was watching some sort of documentary and yeah just great work um, overall I think that this movie would definitely be better in theaters if this this is like one of those must watch 3d or theater movies not every movie is like this so if this movie ever comes out in theaters I'll definitely go and watch this it deserves to be watched on the big screen um, um, for cons I think that the emotional scenes could have been a bit better that's what really distinguishes um, some the like best cinematograph uh, cinema cinematographed I forgot best shot films to a good shot film um, is that their emotional scenes feel more impactful by the way it was shot but I, but this movie didn't have that it had definitely had the action and scale but emotional scenes such as when she's crying um, could have used some better angles or some better like uh, perspective in my opinion so um, overall that's those are my thoughts about um, cinematography let's move on to soundtrack I think this movie soundtrack was good um, it wasn't great there's nothing really that went in my playlist personally but I think that um, the one notable sound OST for me would be the like the re-entering the earth's atmosphere but every other track I feel like was just filler and didn't add too much to it um, so I feel like the sound does, um, soundtrack could have worked a little bit on its other background so um, OSTs but overall I think it was a good soundtrack I also have to touch on this, but their sound design in this movie was really realistic, especially in space, given that there's no sound. So, and it just makes the whole uh, movie just all the more terrifying because when you see all of these things happening without any sound whatsoever, it feels like something's very much wrong. So, I just really liked how they um, amped up the terrifying factor by um, giving this silenced feel to the movie and only really the sound of radio and heavy breathing. So that's all I have to say with soundtrack. Let's move on to the, my overall thoughts and final score. So overall, I think this movie had some uh, good pace, some great pacing, very intense scenes, scenes, and a really well executed theme. I'm not giving up. I also think that this movie had some great acting by Sandra Bullock and a really good sense of skill by the way the movie was shot. Um, it, it was just beautifully shot with all its colors and um, just a, some really amazing CGI, some of the best I've seen, and as well as really good costume work of the astronauts. It um, all made it just all work together to make the um, movie feel as like that much more real and I also think that the main very main um, track of the soundtrack was also very uh, nice and a very memorable track although it didn't go on my playlist was definitely a, a very notable one 
For cons, I think that the isolation of space theme could have been done much better, especially because because I felt like they were building up to it. I also think that the emotional moments um, were a, a bit too um, uh, generous, and they, they should have used it a bit sparingly, as well as some scenes being a bit too long and overstaying their welcome. Uh, in terms of characters, I think that Kowalski could have been developed more, and I think that um, there could have been a bit more work on the background uh, soundtracks that pl um, that kind of fill that fill out the um, OST playlist for this movie. So overall, I think I'd give this movie an eight out of ten stars. Um, I think this is a really good movie. I definitely enjoy this movie a lot. Although um, it's not up there with some of my favorites, I, I definitely um, really enjoyed it, and will definitely watch it again if it ever comes into theaters. So thanks. Um, for watching and uh, if you have any what uh, if you have any thoughts leave them in the comments below and i guess that will be it for me today bye